inside. Your boy Dre taking the charge with the aggressive raise. As the pink shells get tossed towards the back of the site, Som needs to have impact, and so he certainly will. Frenzy gets in for one, but he gets traded out instantly, and there should be safe passage across to the site now for LG. Yeah, and that wall is going to block off one of the main ways you would get into Be Heaven from defending spawn, and so it's going to force him to have to knife and shoot at it, which gives them a lot of time to set up on the LG side of things for post plan. They are going to try to come through the gap in the wall. Deep able to get away and dismiss Reyna. So annoying in that way. Deep making good use of it there. Yeah, great play. Oh, I was him. The Sanctuary is staying alive, and they desperately needed that. 2v3 as Moose goes in with a frenzy for a couple more runs out of ammunition, but information gathered, and then gets a second shot at it. Bing. Slows are coming in. He's pushed off pillar, and the wall is up the block and swinging around. The leader forces him back out into position, and the shorty at this range is dreadful, but the frenzy misses out. How is he still alive? They've held it down with ease, NRG. It looked like they should be absolutely plastered, but instead, the forced spike plant comes into fruition, and now Stella spray in as he may. will feel the full force of Daps' ghost. There's not enough time. LG can't get it done. Doombot goes out. They're trying to take some initial aggression into main, but there's two players here, and they have the superior firepower. Both Spectres chime together with a beautifully placed crossfire. And it's gone from bad to worse. EU doubles up with his bulldog. Mm. Proto, the only player that's got any kind of success, but it's short-lived. Great B lobby control there from NRG. Shank. Time. Luminosity Gaming needs success. They need it now from the shadows. It's been popped on the side of the map. It's gone down towards the A side. And if Proto takes out Infinite, this entire ruse has been a success. And all of the rotations now need to come in for NRG. Yeah, kind of an improvised fate there from LG. A Proto was always lurking A, and he is able to sneak in and able to get Omen ulted so they could actually pinch Infinite in the site. And now they have a plan. But the retake, it's still possible. They have the Rolling Thunder and Energy, and now a man advantage. Empress has graced us as will Rolling Thunder. And Thief is ruling with an iron fist, but he's gone down from above. And RNG now have the player advantage. It all falls upon a Proto. He's had some huge moments, but there's the double swing. And Daps takes off his head. To get the hell out of there. And if Thief's not careful, he could get caught, but just narrowly survives. And now he can go back in. They assume this angle was clear. Not the case, and Thief will punish them with two. Infinite comes back with a quick fire headshot with the Phantom, but it's already too little too late. The post plant positions are so good. And in this two on four, it's looking like they'll be made short work of. Your boy Dre dips in for one, and there's a proto to clean the rest up. up on split, actually, with the Cloud9 game. Paint shells toss in. Ew, though, big frag onto Stella. Goes up, the flash is good, but the follow-up not quite there. Neural theft for forced out. Information will be attained. And instantly, LG, they pull the plug. They head back over towards the B site, and it's empty. Yeah, it's nice knowing everyone is on the map, isn't it, Vince? That is what's afforded to a proto. Orbiter Strike does come in to try to allow energy to sweep in through B Heaven, but it's being traded back and forth. But in the end, it comes down to a two-on-two -two post plan. This is actually getting closer than I would have expected. Yeah, there was a noble strike tossed down for good measure as well. They were hoping they could fend off this spike plan a little bit longer. All falls upon Moose. He's got a lot of damage put down, but there's Dap standing tall with Brimstone. And he will get that success. Try and get aggressive, but here is the rolling thunder. It's all a setup to allow Shanks to just rip through the oncoming aggression. They get two picks and they can dart back towards the sites. They've got their job done. Yep, showing you that rolling thunder is not just he takes you can also use it for aggressive plays like that great luring them into middle and then pouncing on them with it two big kills moose able to creep in to be off the back of this though so i mean that's one silver lining i guess you could say as he's gonna keep if he gets in the back halls this gets scary if he can hold this ground oh boy they know though they have the angle being held right here by shanks they know it's a possible oh no he's been caught anyway a golden ticket has been cashed in, and LG will be looking to try and stamp some authority post-plant. Slight gap in the dark cover. Moose trying to make the most of it. There's another one tossed in. Not sure if he meant to drop down. 
Regardless, he now has to play with that new position. And your boy Dre spots one player. Paint shells have big. landed, and that shrapnel finishes off Moose. They need a big play, and your boy Dre will not be supplying it. That proto have certainly brought it back. Dark Cover's now coming in. Paint shells are very good. Infinite gets four down position, but be careful what you wish for, because he will smack you up with a phantom. Sprays in for two, and still alive to tell the tale. Can still push to the back of the site. LG were looking good in their initial engagement, but it's all gone horribly mm. wrong. Yeah, also Infinite's utility kind of cut off them being able to come in and help out their two teammates in the site. It allowed Infinite to single out some battles, and he wins them. And now the exchange breaks out, still leaving LG far behind. It's just stellar here on the Sage. Still holding on to that res. Still has never really been able to find use for it in this half. As he is between a rock and a hard place. Spike down in front of him. Spots one towards elbow position, but... There's not a whole lot for him here. Any one thing goes wrong, they're kind of screwed because they don't have time. Empress has got pop. Thief is going to get up close and personal again. The turret's been dealt with, but Infinite, who's had such a good couple of rounds now in this very position, goes in and there's some with his ult. The showstopper lives up to... They want to get aggressive. They're not content with a 7-5. They want to run this one home as fast as possible. And Thief is fighting an awkward battle with the turret. Doesn't stop the fact that NRG have already taken the site. They've already got the plant down with the spike in position. Three of the four of LG make that... Nearly the entire team are trying to funnel their way through. Leaving only Reyna to push through the other side of the map. And Daps should have her dead to rights, but Thief still comes out ahead. Can't double up with the secondary frag. And now the Frenzies are ripping through the oncoming LG right now. Yeah, that is brilliant way to kick things off for them. It's EU will now look to lead. With the Guardian to spot a player out in the open space. It's going to be your boy Dre able to take one more down with him, though, on the way out. Showstopper from Som to take space. Spots the Sage by Pillar. Misses the mark, but at least they have the intel. They do trade it out two on three now as they will plant Namali to block off the back halls. That buys them up enough time to relocate now, but there is a spy cam in the works. And a Proto wants all the information, all the juicy intel that he can muster for his teammates. And this kind of range, the Phantom is tearing through heads and Daps has got two. He's got a 3k overall. Can he land the 4k? Yes, he can! And <laughs> well, here's the orbital strike. Cloud bursts allow... Yep, draft to try no! and get into play. How is Thief not got that kill? He must be so triggered right now. But he won't be if his team can somehow remedy the situation. 2v1, and then RG have been sent packing. Enough for that. So for all they know, there's two players stacked in. One of which is dropped down towards the vents. That's going to be Stella. Different angle of aggression. Cloudburst plus the paint shells. Will mean some... Control starts to fall the way of NRG, but I say that maybe prematurely because Stella shows his hand again. 2v4, 2v3, pardon me, falls upon LG, and can they convert one more mm. time? Do you have the rolling thunder available here for you? No, never mind, he doesn't. He's one away. Rez is going to come and it's going to help things even further. EU, though, is able to take out Thief there. So... That res getting the numbers back up is short-lived, though they still do have an advantage here late in the round as we do see energy pivoting here, getting control of mail, getting their way in, full on B having control now. They're going to attack in here. They still have their breach though way back at A. This is so weird. Yeah, trying to sell a fake, I guess. Maybe a late look, but they need the manpower. They need the numbers. And although Infinite's got a kill, only 15 seconds, and he's effectively all alone. It's does just highlighted. Reach on the other side of the map. So this is a really important trade, but it's gone their way. Showstopper does connect onto Infinite. And with seven seconds, this round is over. There is surely no way that they can get back into this. Breach just simply doesn't have time on his side. LG pick up an eighth. That's a real head scratcher for me. I get that all the angles they could hope for. This mm. is maybe where Rolling Thunder and Blade Storm are going to be so vital for NRG. Yeah, holding off the retake with Rolling Thunder is going to be big. They're going to have to wait for the commit to the site, though, first before you burn it. You don't want to have to burn it until then, or maybe even save it if you possibly can. But here come the guns, and they are popping off, and now or never, but he's all alone. It might not even be worth it. EU trying to hold on. He gets a couple, but the forces are overwhelming. LG pal It's one of those cases it could have done more harm than good in the post plants positions they had last round. Paint shells though onto a proto is going to take a bit of damage and now Thief holding the same angle. It's fitting that he takes down Infinite from this very position and he gets three trios up. 
NRG will be successful in the post plant, and this is where maybe the Rolling Thunder can come to the forefront. Maybe this is where things get interesting. And they're putting out all of the utility courtesy of Brimstone. Still two players up against the world as they look to barrel their way down onto the side. LG know the importance of this round. Flashpoint is not quite in position and your boy Dre takes off the head of Daps. LG, another successful defuse. Yeah, again, there's never really a chance to use it there. Maneuverability. Trying to lock down this rafter position, but he spots nobody, goes for the speculative shot, no one's home. And now a proto looks to try and dodge into position. And Sleef has gone down 4v4. Yeah, they have a heaven control, but we do see a flank from LG here by Moose through B lobby into Ramen. So at least he's kind of cutting off the options for energy. At least LG know it's going to have to be an A commitment or they're going to have to fall back into their defender's holding. Now here comes Rolling Thunder to clear out the side of Proto is here. He's stunned. He's struck down. I mean, he had no way out of there. There was so much thrown at him. It's a big commitment from NRG to use it just for one player, but it does get them the spike plant and the four on three post plant. And there's really no ults to retake with for LG. It's going to come down to pure aim and coordination. Exactly, but they have three players to chip together to try and make this Masterpiece of a clutch come to fruition. You feel like they've got to get the first pick though. Paint shells off to the back of the site, forces a couple players out of position. And now Shanks puts the bullet into the head of Moose. And that leaves it down onto a two on four. Stella's trying to make moves through on the screens and does have a little bit of help from Ray's just above. Shanks' position will drop down and your boy Dre has been silent, suppressed and utterly destroyed. LG's valiant comeback seems like it could be put in the back burner and indeed it shall. I'm dwindling. Aggression forthcoming. Infinite takes point. Good flashes tossed in, though. They're still blinded. They couldn't see a single thing. And this could be the last play of the map. LG are falling left and right. Stella, who's done such a good job of this position so many times, will be in another post plant. And they desperately require one of these three to come out swinging. We've already seen a couple of great retakes, but one Lee has also been used. Only one remains for Thief, and he has to put this downrange perfectly. There are very few initiation protocols available to them. Alongside him is safe, but an outright frag will allow him the opportunity to pop the Empress. Here comes the fault line, though. Lands perfectly on top of Thief, but no one is there to pick up the pieces. And now all the kills are going the way of LG. Successful retake again. Once they coordinate correctly. And shell down towards the entrance, but Moose gets the frag they were desperately seeking. And now 30 seconds to go. Spike getting planted. Shanks not too sure as to whether there is a player coming up behind him. Unbeknownst to him, that's not the case. And Daps has put down the work. Keeping this oh, the timing. engage working, but Moose shuts down some in the back, and that's massive for LG. Shanks now coming in. There is the stim boost put down. Leads are also being traded out. Moose is making moves. Last seen towards middle. He's now joining the rest of his team on B main. Turret put down. Tanks a couple of bullets, absorbing the shock of this retake. Thief from the back door. And LG, after losing the first player to Shanks, come out ahead. Map, up, map to the good. Spike plant comes in. We've had so many retakes, so much aggression early on. That's been successful for the attack, only to be thwarted in a last ditch effort from the defense. But LG, they will have to turn the tables back around again. Lee is being put into position. The stim in spot from Daps and an incendiary behind it. They're going to have to push through there. He didn't expect that push to come through. The audacity as LG looked to steamroll and rip their way through into the second map. But Inu has a few things to say. Flashpoints on point. Can't quite hit the headshot. There's another one. He's trying to save the day and he gets it done. LG off the fire, off the flames have somehow kept this alive. Yards and now LG have to hold on one more time. The barrel will betray Thief and some cap. Capitalizes. That's huge. That could be exactly what Energy needed to now make their in round decision as they will split onto a proto. But a proto's usually been up to the task. He has to do it once more. He's holding in the corner. He's only good for one. Energy had the four on three post plant, but it's all the ruse. He's pulled the rotation by himself. That's working into screens. But again, that spike is going down at B this entire time. It doesn't matter that Moose has found Daps. They're well out of position and have to retake two on three, but they have to spend so much more time just getting over to the other side. Beautiful play, not just selling the fake, but getting an extra frag on top of it and putting his team of player to the good. So huge, and LG 
They've only got Omen and Sage. Not as if they've got tons of utility to burst back on the site with, so they're going to play together. A two-man wrecking crew. Try and push through. Brute force. Blunt force to the head of NRG if they can. But they're being stalled. Stagnated. Just purely off Killjoy's turret. Purely off the alarm bot. And now Infinite steps up to the mark to drill in alongside Shaq. Playing against a race, you know you could get grenaded or boom-botted. And so it is right to reposition as the B. To be a heaven pressure is coming into play now. Thief big entries has got another one as well. And they're not done. They're going to keep pouncing. EU only good for one. This round looks like it's by the wayside. LG have always been trailing in OT. This would be the first time they actually had a chance to outright win themselves. They've been playing from behind, looking for these desperation retakes. How will they lead as opposed to trail? Still, two players could get the job done, but now it's fallen down to just one. It's Shanks, has to trade up to the rifle in doing so. Stella is there. Text proximity, the third of which will be Stella. Just outside towards the defense side. They're taking over rafters. They're taking over all the angles they could hope for. But LG are locking it down with ease until Shanks and Dap spring into action. They lock the site and just crack it wide open. And that leaves it all into a 1v3. Could we be headed to yet another overtime? Unless Thief can pull off this clutch. It's looking good. He does still have two Leers available to him. No Empress, of course which would give him a huge benefit in terms of entry fragging. So does he just play this one slow and hope for a, a mistake, maybe a slight lapse in concentration? The post plants are good, but Thief has gone in for the first one. Now needs to spin in, picks up the second one as well. He's looking to get himself up close and personal to potentially clutch this one out. Last player though is making moves towards B main and Thief has missed his first shot, but doesn't again. Oh my God, it's clutch after clutch after clutch. And LG have finally got this map under wraps. But will not thwart the aggression, who has also been been taking control over his paint stalls going to the back side of the site forcing the defenders away into the open good paranoid tossed in though and i'll be stellar that makes the most of it capitalizes on it classic goes in up close second frack comes in make it three as well and now moose is mowing them down with the that's with the bulldog a proto good spray transfer getting both somb and e as they push through and spins in for a third because why the hell not it's not only to lg look good for the 2-0 I think they'll have to bypass most of these pistols. It's only Infinite that's posted up a frag. And he goes down without too much more of a fight. Solid round. Bothering to find out if more players are towards the backside of the site. Has full confidence in his teammates to watch his back. So post plant comes into effect. NRG have traded one for one. And now the defenders start to make moves in. They're not sure if all these players will be headed towards elbow. If we see any shenanigans from the backside towards the teleportation into hookah. But the opening picks going the way of LG before Infinite puts his sheriff into play alongside Daps. And your boy Dre's gonna somehow pull off this 1v2. He knows where both players are. It's about drawing them out into the open and taking these 1v1 fights. Time is ticking away ever so quickly now. Good shoulder peak comes into effect while hopping up, drawing out the first player into the open. There's the first pick he was looking for, but he hasn't even defused the halfway. And it's so frustrating, but Infinite has played that to perfection. For Shanks, I mean, this is gonna be heavy handed. Oh, the showstopper gets two! They both club pop and your boy Dre makes the most of it. The proto also goes in. Now almost auto strike, as you said. A proto able to find an angle now because of it. The spot one, easy pickings for him. Immediate straight though from Sam. Energy making this kind of interesting. Smokes down to get into the site. Oh, your boy Dre nearly burns to a crisp. Does get the pick onto Daps, but the post plant hasn't come in just yet. Now it will from EU. Can he? Salvage this round yet. Remember, Hunter's Fury is still available, but it won't be used this round. He's gone down. And Somp tries to pivot in for multiple frags. Gets picked off from the back and LG. And it's not as if their buy in this round is anything to write home about. It includes a frenzy. It includes some subpar weaponry. And the timing could not have been worse. But at least Shanks is going to put down some pain of his own and some suffering. And our Proto's being sideswiped. He's being pinted. Here comes the Hunter's Fury again. This time, you will make it land. No, your turn. Won't be working out for Moose, but he at least gets the one frag with the Vandal to open things back up into maybe a way back into this round. You showing him how it's done with the Sova Ultimate. Shot darts now being fired in. Trying to isolate these NRG players from one another. Big headshot from Moose. And no. these also got in for two. That's unforgivable, NRG. 
Oh my, I have to say Thief played that so well, though. The way he banked and the retakes well underway, run it back from Thief to get Hoover control back for his team. He does fall to EU Shore, but he's opened up areas elsewhere. Shanks with the flank over at U-Haul, gets caught by your boy Dre, and now it's back onto a four on four. Boy Dre popping the showstopper and gets the upper hand onto EU. It's another post plant, it's another potential disappointment. NRG are falling by the wayside. Infinite's all that remains, but he spins around and they needed something special. Play two players rotate into back halls here from LG. Energy might have just done it. LG moving in and Proto, three kills in quick succession. Infinite has to try and clutch one more time. Two headshots back to back, but nine seconds to play with. Even if he can get this plant down, it's unlikely he can reposition in quick enough proximity to get this done. And your boy Dre comes in, takes down Infinite, but still Shanks is alive. Another kill goes his way. Empress has been popped, looking to rule one more time. The wall has been put down into place and they look to blaze into action. And it's another clutch, another desperation play. On a forward, they even have the lock if they so need it but oh thief that's a big catch Huge. no it's gone from bad to worse and even worse yet it's gone down the drain your boy dre with the bulldog oh my god you said yourself it was such a poor buy they had sheriffs they had smgs basically nothing and yet it's a four a 5v1 pardon me now it's a 4v1 Daps has gone in for a frag but he gets put down instantly that was in RG's golden opportunity to make this bomb and company. They're going to pinch in on A side, but also the attacking side could portal back over to B. This is going to get chaotic, Vince. They do commit the spike to this site, though. There's clarity and chaos, though, when it finds its way towards LG. That post plant on the spike will yield a few opportunities, but some up and over. Paint shell doubles up. Moose still alive, though, in lamp as they get flashed time after time. The curveball is good, but some's up to the task. He lands it. Lifeline I spoke of can quickly be depleted. And we saw LG win on worse buys than this. Infinite though is looking good in this position and it's a complete shutdown. A clean comfortable. It did look a bit shaky though when Brimstone got caught out in the open. Emu though is putting this one down fairly convincingly with the Phantom. Must know where one lays, many more may follow. Some big headshot. NRG two player advantage. And although LG are using a lot of utility to try and brute force their way onto the site, it falls on deaf ears. It's only Moose. Any second now. So although they've popped a couple of alts on the approach here. Oh no! Daps is going to let them all cross. He should be a field day. Two kills to Daps, but he's been traded back out. There's only 13 seconds left though. They need to be pushing to the site right here, right now. There's no more room for error. Shot start in for him, forcing away this spike. And that's the spike carrier down. This round has fallen into disarray. Detect him. So that could be a problem. Two showstoppers out, Vince. We're having some rocket launcher battles but neither connects fully now they're gonna be pushing out daps needs to start making moves his teammates need him they desperately require assistance or perhaps not perhaps outman but never outgunned inu and saw both chip in for france but now the operator is whiffing one too many times they have to relocate post plant comes into effect but moose is low a proto i take this round and make it the way of lg would be their first theft. success. Your theft is available. Doesn't need it. He's just got bullets and he's putting them to faces, administering fatal blows back and forth. Dark cover in the eyes of Daps, who's now made moves out. He would have made a bit of noise. The spray's not on point. And LG finally quickly poured over, of course. He's going to spot a couple there. Run it back and play now. Under Fury rings out, but it's NRG that come out ahead in these trades. Your boy Dre's the only player that's actually a bit back. And suddenly, 2v4, a proto needs entries and he needs them quickly. Elbow will become a bit of an issue. They have slowly and more importantly, quietly made their move in. So that could maybe catch NRG off guard. Oh, the crouch beat wrecked you. Crosshair was too high. 30 seconds to play with. Neural Theft has been tossed in as well. They know roughly where all these players are now. But the hookah has quickly been aggressed into. 23 seconds left. Big frag from a proto. Is this 2v4 a possibility? Hypercation play and Roosh goes in again. LG looked like they were spinning. It said packing, but instead Shad shot down from the back. LG pulled around out of no. That ain't, that ain't a whole lot. It's not as if they have tons of ultimates to fall back on either. It's only Moose with the Hunter's Fury that's allocated to them and available. 
And no yep. player is really that close to picking up what they need to do. And immediately Daps gets one tap. But infinite two for one, I think. I think he just yep. got two for the price of one. Thief and your boy Dre got wrecked and savaged as they walk through showers. Yeah, they were really keen on trying to run Daps down. Which, to be fair, when you have limited resources, you kind of have to take any little opportunity you feel is there. But they fell into the trap as Infinite was holding the angle. And as you said, he basically had a little lineup spray down for two frags. And now we're just going to see the rest of LG. Maybe still try to pounce on the safe site. There's four defenders on site, so good luck. Chance at range, decapitating and finishing off the rest of the stragglers. Proto, big headshot with the Sheriff, but it will feel like a drop in the ocean because he's been sprayed by in. Here comes Empress. The Boombot's also been topped out as well. Your boy Dre getting the first from the shadows popped in. Alongside the showstopper, all of the ultimates being put into position. The taking the initiative goes for the wide swing, gets punished. Still, the player advantage will fall upon LG. The SOM comes out, but your boy Trey picks up a triple. And now, the lockdown's in play. Hunter's Fury looking to try and pick off some of the stragglers as Daps takes his chance to try and push through elbow getting the first your boy dre's triple kill comes to an abrupt end is overtime looming once more for these two teams stella trying to put his position trying to take this one down for his teammates he knows where both players currently are and the spike is still taking away it's still available if nrg were enough and that's a spray from stella it's gonna Sting a little bit if he's not careful. Infinite goes in aggressive, and one of the first times you've seen Infinite actually take the initial action through Hookah has backfired entirely. A flurry of frags fall around the server, but now Daps again is proving himself a real thorn, a real pain in the backside, as he's going to get smoked off more than likely. Dark cover comes down, but the stim's been placed in position, running on top of Molotov's incendiaries, but your boy Dre, again, massive entry comes good on the side of LG. A one v3 post plan e does not have hunter's fury he doesn't have too much going in his favor can he get that first pick if the first in this 1v3 goes his way maybe there is a way forward oh that headshot is crisp but so is stella both gonna sell this fake shanks needs to get some damage done at least Maybe a kill, that would be massive for his teammates, and he's done it. He's done it, but he's got traded out. Elsewhere, though, NRG are just suddenly sinking their teeth into this site, and there's nothing that LG can do about it. Somehow, we've gone from both teams having a weak attack to just being outright outrageously strong. And how can LG feasibly get back onto this site and make it work? They've only got Silver and Rays together. Unless it's this tons of utility they can bounce back onto the site with, and you can now scrap that. It all falls upon your boy Dre. He's really come alive these last five or so rounds, but this is potentially a bridge too far. He spots the barrel of the gun around the right-hand side towards the spawn, but it doesn't matter. The second he pushes out into the open, he's surely a goner from multiple angles. Shot G taking the game by the horns and making it theirs. As you said, the lack of ultimates will make this such a difficult ask this is where you want to pierce in with the hunter's fury you want to have all of these pieces of the puzzle available to you and a proto is having no chill no prisoners taken he is ruthless in his endeavors to get this map done and back under wraps moose perfect cross air placement but a bit slow on the draw and he's actually put this back into close enough proximity that maybe lg can't take this for granted they'll still be sweating this one out a little bit he's got another one surely this isn't doable it would be what a 2v5 but there's Stella. He's made sure that sanity is intact. We go. Proto will try to put the cam out, try to get some intel if he wants playing the U-Haul position. He knows they're not now. Now they will push through. They smoke the turret to give them a bit more coverage, but Daps has already made it here and gotten the kill on the U-Haul. Infinite has showers in control. They need somebody to start cracking open into lamp, and they need it quickly. Because Daps has already got two, and now Eve's going to go in a bit more aggressively. They stood on top of Incendiaries, they stood on top of so much damage here, and suddenly fall into a 2v2. They have a good idea as to where Showers Control currently resides, and it all falls upon. He's going to have to try and make something happen, but Thief takes his head clean off, and Moose on the drive-by! LG have stopped!
Enough time has elapsed with the Proto initially showing his hand. They've been able to try and get this rotational play around the back. It's all whether they can put these two pieces, this two-pronged retake, together at the same time simultaneously. This house of cards can quickly come crumbling down. The recon is good, and they are somewhat isolated from one another, trying to pop up there. And now Stella comes in, gets the spray in. Even shows his hand around showers. It all falls upon Stella. Dark cover onto the site. He's going to tickle it, try and draw these players out into the open. But there's the Hunter's Mark that's now coming to play. And they can just hold this forever indefinitely. It's going to be so hard. For Stella to possibly get back onto this site, tickles the bomb one more time. First headshot goes his way, and now it's all down to you, but there's the shock dart. Insult to injury. The 34th round, I think. The 33rd round. It, there's been so Something many like of them. And yet, here we go. Another post plan. Thief, though, no. getting two. Putting this in proximity. No. And there's a third for Thief. He is looking to steal away the hopes and dreams and aspirations. And that run it back will buy up time for a Proto to get aggressive. Although Thief dies, it doesn't matter because a Proto's there to pull the trigger. Beautiful round by Thief. And finally, a defensive round comes into play in overtime. <laughs> Oh my goodness, how has Thief actually robbed him like that? I know it's his namesake, but that is the heist of heist to be able to flank around for those three frags and to run it back to keep them pinned, to buy time, like you said, for a proto to swing it. I mean, they just kept facing them one by one. He just was like, I'll take them all. Not quite committed to it, but he's in position to rotate as quickly as possible. Sky Swaps will block it, but the push is coming in strong. Good defense so far. Storm gets the first. Paint shells toss towards the showers. Oh, they tripled up. It's a quad. Everyone's dead. Finally, we're actually getting some success in the defense. Positioning from Thief. He was big in the last defensive round. Can he do so again? So far, he is getting absolutely pummeled by bullets. Good flash, but Niyu still takes him down. He won't look like he was fully flashed from his perspective. Stella now trying to make moves through towards the spawn, but he gets shut out of his misery by Som. And it seems like the aggression, the attack is going to start to yield some more rounds after all. Only two players remain. Stella has the right idea, or actually has that perfectly in position. Dark Cover now trying to fend off the short play where most of these attackers now reside. Actually, all three of them are clumped up together. So hold on for a second. This may not be over just yet. Who's goes in for the spray, but though they've dark covered off towards heaven. They're getting the spike planted already. Paint shells up in towards the heaven side as well. And although these are fast rotations from the positions that LG currently possess, they are anticipating this. And Moose takes the first, even though he goes down. He took one player with him. They spot Reyna around the corner. If the Leah comes in, he misses the Leah frag. And now that's going to put things into this dispute. Now Thief comes in, though. Again, he's been so clutch in these moments, but he springs slightly awry. And NRG will finally take us into the third map. Mm -hmm. But apart from that, it's looking unlikely. But it's going to be fun, Vince. Right here. Are you ready for fun? Here comes fun. I'm, I'm very ready for fun. I've not enough. Let's today. go. Here we go. Are they Please. all gonna run in and die at the end? Is that what they're trying to do? Yeah, maybe look for the exits and see if they can take their economy forward. I guess. But Shanks, big kill onto Moose. That's a weapon that can trade hands as well. A Proto is gonna go in and on top of that, and it's just a massacre. All the bodies being dispatched post haste. Aggressed them, but they can quickly shimmy their way through the garage towards C. And that's exactly what's coming up. Daps though, good timing. It's traded out one for one. Moose goes in for the spike plant. Yeah, this is looking like it might be locked up, but energy do still have some ways back in here. Drone spent towards back halls, gets the dart off. Great little leer from Thief, but Som actually breaks through. He's able to get in. has both leers. So there's definitely maybe something that they could do here about this. Cypher cages are being put up. Empress has been deployed. Oh, they're all clumped up together. It's a massacre. Moose sprays through all three. And Stella has the better angle. He has more HP, but still comes out second best. EU somehow threads out the kill. And NRG will take it. How in the world is Moose going to line up a hat trick spray down and then enter? Perhaps has caught one in this trip wire. But he's also stuck in the dark cover. Hunter's Fury now comes out. Oh, it's big from you. Connects two kills. Your boy Dre goes down alongside Stella. 
That ultimate worth its weight in gold, but so is Thief. He gets two of his own, but he's been silenced. Courtesy of Daps, a proto will make it sting, and could very well get this full spike plant down? Indeed, he shall. But will he live to tell the tale? Does he have any idea he's about to get flanked by two? The answer is no, and NRG will double up their round counts. The problem is he couldn't know which side they were coming from, and Energy know exactly where he is because he's planted and he hasn't crossed back yet. His only escape was the problem for LG as they come in. Cover is getting put into position, but so is a Proto's aim. It's crisp, it's at head height, and it's landing nothing but headshots, nothing but frags. Another one goes his way. It's three to his name already, and this site is falling so quickly, leaving Daps alone. But they've used the neural theft. They know exactly where he's coming from. And whether Daps even attempts to go for this is yet to be seen. He may look for some exits. If he wants to get in amongst all the action, he has his mm. own neural theft yep. available, but doubts he... I I'll be surprised if he dropped it here, Dust. If he gets the kill, maybe he would consider it to try to pull off the 1v2. But he needs that kill. He needs to feel like it's possible. But chances are he will rotate it through. Energy to pivot over, so they're actually in good position to still retake. They have the shock darts available from EU to get some shit damage. He's got a stinger as well to put in the blade. Not only does he get shit damage, he gets a frag, and this is gonna unleash the floodgates now. Careful though, it may backfire. They're being swarmed, the tsunami of amic damage and just ruthless aggression falls upon them and crashes against the rocks of the site. Post Black comes in and this time it's a proto to try and clutch and he gets it done with a 3k. LG's clutching has where one at least is around the corner to his tight left and now they're gonna go Brilliant. in. That paranoia was perfect. Absolutely great use of can, great use of paranoia, great combination to entry the site and now energy had to play retake. They had the neural delta and run it back but there's still two players down but when has that mattered? <laughs> Very true. Fair point, NRG is still in with a shot, but a proto, he doesn't have any interest in that. He wants to put this to bed as quickly as possible. Some though, may have a couple things to say about it, gets caught and reload, and Thief will not give him a second chance. All down to Inu stuck in heaven, and Thief again is just so rapid with that crosshair placement, takes the head off and takes a slice of victory. Clears. Paranoia's dark covers, everything being tossed in I towards the seaside exactly of the map. All the way of LG. Cage trigger. They only have two players remaining as the spike gets put into position. Two players are pretty low though, one of which is Thief. Or oh, pardon me, not Thief, Race. And the opposition Rainer of Shanks is moving into position, but just with a frenzy. I mean, really exit frags at best here, Dust. I yeah. can't really see anything else coming to fruition. Yeah, the neural theft that got popped at the end there basically ruined any element of surprise you would need to have in a 2-on-4 to potentially pull it off. And so, yeah, it's going to be wax. And who other to close it than a proto? Color me shocked. ...to get this retake into effect. Minimal damage imposed to LG. And Silver can now provide the overwatch from heaven. Now Shanks is hiding, waiting in the wings in both the cage and the dark cover. Gets ripped to pieces from a Proto's classic. There's a paint shells fragging amongst all the chaos, and a Proto comes out again. Now Infinite shows his hand, but it's too little too late. LG, get the second pistol under wraps. Yeah, it's one of those things where you might give the sight, but as long as you're prepared for the retake, that doesn't necessarily matter. An LG. The paint uh -oh. shells up and over. That could do a lot of damage, but it forces them back out into the open. And LG have got that crossfire pivoted in so damn good. Here comes the aggression. There's a flash in there and amongst it, and it's carnage. It's chaos. It's a massacre. A flawless round, and LG hit double digits. That current plant in effect again. You spoke about the economic woes, the economic downturn that could be coming into play, but that spike at the very least secures a bit of future. But a oh. fire from Thief who gets one. Anticipating that position with so many players left, there's only a certain amount of angles you can watch. But look at this from NRG. They've really woken up. And that will send a couple shockwaves down LG's spine. They'll have a... It is a heavy A stack for the most part. Oh, splatters the brain of some. Maybe looking for a bit more. Nearly connects more as well.
There's paint shells behind it. As Thief is looking to get aggressive. They know this play is on the side. LRG, what happens? They've got dismantled by these sheriffs. And now it falls upon Infinite. We'll be moving out into the open between two separate angles of aggression. That incendiary at least keeps one of those tight angles at bay. But as soon as that clears... They will be making a move back towards the site. They're going to make sure that the second the infinite gets one frag, he gets answered on and won't even be asked. Won't even be. No way they lose. I'm calling it now. If they lose this, I don't know what to tell you. Surely not. Not with a normal strike in a Hunter's Fury and plant. And they've also pushed down long sides, which should in theory be safer. Recon Bolt has been dispatched. There is the dark cover. Another one gets tossed in for good measure. They're going for the defuse. Here's the orbital strike, and there's the headshot. Oh, Moose has been picked off by the orbital strike, and as anticipated, this round will be falling the way of NRG. You can do everything you want, Stella, but you are a dead man walking, and you've been collected by Shanks. Yeah. This is cutting it short on time, though. Yeah, true. Do they have time? What are they doing? And they're going Wait. garage? Do they have time. time for this? Yes, as long as they don't die on the cross. And now they definitely are. Oh no, NRG, they're all worst enemies. They overthought it. We have a chance to put this quarterfinals to bed. A marathon of Valorant could be coming to an abrupt end. It could have been so much closer, but NRG overthought it. Over egg the pudding, and now Stella is making sure they get scrambled with that phantom. Headshot instantly in. They still have control over the spike, but they're losing players at such a fast rate that they may never recover. In comes the next frag, but it's going to go the way of EU. So NRG, they've got a glimmer. It's a glimmer of a chance, but that's all they have dust. Yeah, Spike goes down. They are getting it down, but now Moose and company are ready to pounce. They have Hunter's Fury. They have Neural Theft. They have everything. The Hunter Series are popping on both ends. It's like laser tag right now on the site. And LG, the ones coming out victorious, and they will get the defuse. And as you said, Vince, we have been running circles around Valorant for hours at this point. But finally, here at the end, LG 